Ian had reached his limit. He'd had enough. My frantic fiancé, always so insecure. He never trusted me, but on this night he was convinced I had betrayed him. Ian was not the kind of man that was going to accept a situation like this. He was a man of action. He's good. Ah, Rob, my ex-lover. He's more muscle than brain, I'm afraid. Always been like that. He punched the waiter on our first date. With Rob, it certainly does not get boring. Ian Rogers. Long time no see. Rob. If you hear about the Gillis case, I don't have anything to tell you. Even if you did have something to say, you wouldn't do that, would you? My men are very thorough, you know. Oh, I see. Can't keep your woman under control, can you? Maybe she is too much for you to handle after all. Let me make it clear to you, Rob. I'm the one she's engaged to. Yet you obviously have no idea where she is, and that bothers you. Seems to me like you're not so sure of her love for you, my friend. Quit with the fucking bullshit! Oh, look at those two roosters fighting. I should have placed a bet on this one. Next time, I'd love to discuss this matter over dinner with you. But, alright, you never asked for my opinion. Come on, Rob, just tell her to come out already. There's no point in you hiding her here any longer. I haven't seen her. Maybe she's at Joey's, or Alan's, or Peter's, or Dickie's. Might even be at Barry's for all I know. Oh, how funny that you should mention them. Why don't we talk about Mary, Betty, Sarah, Linda, Vicky, or Elaine? You name it. What do you have to offer her? If you ever give me any chance to suspect that Laura is here, and I mean even the slightest of chance to suspect that Laura is here, I will destroy you. And maybe I do have enough to prove you're involved in the killer's case. Get out! I'll be watching you. Finally back. Oh, Where were you so late, honey? We'll 